Oh, it doesn't show on anyway. All right. All right, we are live. Let's wait for it to come up. You are in the show. Oh, look at that. I'm in the show. All right, you're in my show. All right, we're going live. Let's let some people add on. Got a couple of viewers so far. We're streaming live to Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. We're going to get some comments coming in. Saul, so, how are you there, buddy? You ready? I'm ready to rock and roll. All right. So this is our first, well, we tested it before, but this is our first guest live on our Facebook stream. And what I wanted to do is, is just talk a little bit. Well, you could talk. You like to talk. So you can talk to, to my viewers about anything you want to talk about. But I do want to talk about the deal we just did. You, uh, you got a great deal on it. And uh, let's just talk to some people about the market and what you're seeing. I know you're in this market and outside of the market. So uh, tell them a little bit. Well, first of all, thank you for having me on the show. It's, uh, it's really an honor to be your guest. Uh, it only took two and a half years, but finally... I'm I'm even wearing your hat. Yeah, I know. If you turn it around, you're going to see a powerful name in there. There you go. Uh, the deal that we did, it was, a, it was a pretty interesting deal. It was a single family home up in Sebring, uh, three bedroom, two bathroom, 1,400 square feet, one house away from a lake. We picked it up for um, $18,000. $18,000 for a 3 2 uh, this month, April 2020. It was an interesting, uh, pretty uh, deal. Actually, one of my acquisition um, guys, he has been talking to that particular seller for about three, four months. The guy doesn't own a computer, so we actually had to mail the purchase contract to him. He got the contract, signed it, went to the post office, sent us the contract back, and a week before closing, we got a call from the county jail that he was arrested. You know, I went to, I went to a jail one time to do a closing. It was probably the scariest thing I ever did. You know, honestly, I wanted to go and do the closing at the jail because I thought it would be a you know interesting uh, experience. But his attorney did such a good job that before we actually had a chance to go to the jail and do the closing. He got out. Uh, and what happened is he was supposed to get out of jail one week prior to the day that he did. But because of the coronavirus shutting down all the courts, he couldn't uh, he couldn't get an audience with the judge. So we had to wait one more week for him to be able to come out. Well, and this was the guy that wanted to come to our office. And we were like, no way. You just got out of jail. We're not letting you in. Let's just say that when he got to our office, he was in a... Uh, he was in a uh, high state of mind. Let's just put it that way. All right. So, so one of the comments we have, Dawn here, you can see here, she says $18,000. So for those of you that are watching, you, you didn't hear them wrong. It wasn't 180000 So for those of you that are crying, business is no good, the economy's tanking, stock market's down, people are out of work, here's this guy young aggressive picked up a deal for eighteen thousand dollars now what is that house worth if you were to turn around and let's say you were to just wanted to flip it put a little work into it and flip it what would it be worth in today's market i could sell it today without without doing anything to it for fifty thousand fifty thousand dollars and here's a guy just wanted to get out and get paid yeah i can get that the house today i can make a call right now to someone while i'm on the phone and sell the house for fifty thousand dollars what i'm probably going to do with it it's I'm going to spend about 20 to 25 making it really, really nice and either selling it for top dollar in the uh, in the MLS or I might even do a seller finance option, which to me right now, it's a little bit more attractive because, as you probably know, Chase, Chase uh, just upped their standard for lending to 20 percent down payment at 700 credit score. That means that a lot of people are not going to be able to qualify for a loan and they're going to be renters. And there's a lot of people out there that they uh, have the down payment, they have the income, but they don't have the credit required by a traditional bank 
So they are not going to be able to become homeowners. So we're one of the things that we are trying to do right now, it's not only doing the wholesale deals, but coming up with different solution to, um, to the problems that regular folks are going to be facing, which is um, everybody wants to own a home, but not everybody can and are given the, the guidance that they need. So this is actually playing in our favor for what our plans are for the next three months, six months, nine months, and 12 months. Because if you're, if you're not going to be able to buy a home, by default, you're going to be a rental. So we're trying to we're trying to make a business out of that situation. Because a lot of people, don't, they don't want to rent. They want to own the place that they live in. But one of the things that is holding them back is the credit score. So when they come into our program, the credit is not a, a determining factor. Down payment and income is. And if they have a good down payment and if they have the income that we require, uh, which is pretty similar to the FAA guidelines, then we want to put them in a home and we want to make, uh, we want to be the lenders as opposed to, to the landlord. Awesome. Well, that's great stuff. You know, I, and I know you work in uh, many different areas. So not only this deal was in Florida, but you, you're known to be doing a lot of deals uh, up in Georgia too. So you want to talk to them a little bit about that, about what's going on in that market up there. Uh, you know, just give them kind of an idea of, of, you know, how it is to, to invest out of the area and, and maybe what type of money it takes to get involved in that type of area. So you're absolutely right because I'm in both markets. I see what's happening in South Florida and I see what's happening in other parts of the country. Um, for the past two years, I've been selling properties in Georgia, and that has proven to be business-wise one of the best decisions I ever made because the properties are very affordable and the purchase price to income ratio, it's unbelievable. We're selling most of our properties in average uh, for single family homes, they're between $35,000 to $50,000. The same house is renting between $500 to $800 a month. So after taxes, insurance, and capital expenditures, that give you a net return on your money between uh, 12 to sometimes 18%. But yet the market stinks. Nobody's doing any deals. Nobody's making any money, but yet there's somebody doing deals. You know, a lot of people are asking us, you know, whether we're open, we're closed. You know, we were just on NBC a couple of uh, weeks ago talking about being an essential business and being open and it's because we're providing a resource for people. We're providing a solution for people to still be able to close deals. So for people like you, it, to, to stop your deal to close isn't fair. It makes sense to be able to close. Not only you as buying as an investment, but we're closing deals. We just had a first time home buyer in here. A military veteran was here closing on his first house to buy for his family. Lenders are still lending money. Realtors are still working, uh, but yet, you turn on the news and you see how horrible it is. And I feel bad, yes, for the people that are, are people that have the virus and people that know people that, that are suffering from this virus. Um, it is very, very sad. And it's sad to see all the businesses that are out of business, but we are in an essential business that uh, is providing a resource for people, right? You're providing a house, you're providing somewhere for someone to live uh, and in return, you're making a profit for it. So, you know, the market is great and I'm glad you were able to, I was able to convince you to get on this call and, uh, you know, just share just for a couple of minutes here on, on, you know, really what's going on. You know, we don't have a crystal ball. We don't know what's going to happen, but where do you see the market? Let's just say in, in the next 30 days, what do you see happening? Well, I will tell you that we survived World War One. We survived World War Two. We survived the Great Depression, the, the Great Recession, and I'm extremely bullish. Uh, in the U.S. market, especially in Florida and Georgia. Um, I think in 30 days, it's a very short-term sighted, uh, and I'm looking more towards long-term. What are we going to be in six months from now, in a year from now, in two years from now? So the way that I'm seeing the market, I'm placing my strategies for acquisition and sales in that long-term play. Because in 30 days, it's very short time uh, to, to be able to have a a substantial return on investment, if you will. But in six months from now, you know, some people are saying that we're going to see a wave of foreclosure. Some people are saying that no, the banks are going to work with the um, with the homeowners. Um, I can tell you one thing: immobilian is not going to stop doing business because there's a recession out there. You said it yourself: we're an essential business. But more important than that, now it's the moment that we have 
to show our worth not only to our clients but also to society because there's a lot of people out there that need a place to live to uh, get away from the pandemic that otherwise if everybody's at home watching Netflix they wouldn't get that opportunity That's right now is the time you know listen it, for those of that were through the uh, you know I've talked to you a lot about about the the crash of, of 2008 2009 if you went through that, you hopefully set yourself up right now. You know, we're seeing a lot of people that do what you do, but they're so over leveraged. They have, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars in monthly expenses. I was just on the phone with another uh, very well-known wholesaler and said he's been talking to people, and they're like, their expenses are ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month, but yet the deals aren't coming in, so they're not able to scale if they needed to. You know, for us, we were doing almost a hundred closings a month. You know, and then as obviously as things like this happen, we're able to scale. We can scale to 40 or 50 closings or 60 closings if we need to, because we've been through it and we plan properly, um, which, you know, obviously you're seeing now, you know, you know how to scale, you know how to make sure you're able to still do business, uh, you know, and, and you're going to serve a need. You're going to serve a need. If foreclosures come up, you're going to serve a need to help people out of foreclosure. You know, whatever the need is, is what we are going to step in as professionals and, just serve that need. Um, so it's great to see. You know, I, I, I hope things get better. I hope it gets better sooner than later. Uh, I just heard the cruise ships are canceling through July uh, 1st. So, you know, a lot of the industries are going to be hurting, uh, but it's a matter of those industries that aren't hurting to step up to the plate and make sure we're able to deliver uh, our product and our service to the community of uh, what we're known for. So again, you know, we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, we'll do a few more of these. This is going to be a new service. We're going to try and maybe hop on every day and do a video with someone just to kind of give a little market update, little tips and tricks. Uh, we're going to keep them between five and 10 minutes. Hopefully, uh, this was our first one that we did. So I thank you for coming on. If anyone wants to get a hold of you, I have your website here uh, up on the screen. They can see it. What is a good website for them to uh, check you out at? Best thing for them is to give us a call to that number that they see on the screen, 754-800-3624. If you call that number, you call in my office, and if I don't answer the phone, one of my uh, agents here will answer the phone, and they will answer all your questions. And just before we finish, I just want to touch on what you said about you and I have been talking uh, in regards to what happened back in 2008. One of the things that you have advised me on is have a pile of cash ready to go for if the market tanks. One of the... Uh, one of the things that we have talked about in my office with the agents that we have is where do we want to be? Do we want to be on a cash position or do we want to be on a cash flow position? So what I decided to do is I decided to mix both of them, to have a little bit of cash in reserve, something that is substantial for if the market uh, indeed crashes, we can pick up those excellent deals right here in South Florida. But at the same time, if we face something like COVID-19 that we don't know how long it's going to be before we continue to operate as we always have, um, then we want to be able to have that income of uh, uh, money stream coming in. And that's only going to happen if you have those cash flow deals. So right now, our, our portfolio, it's 50-50 uh, between cash and cash flow. Awesome. Well, you're doing the right thing. And uh, stay motivated. Keep posting out there and, and you know bringing others together and doing the right thing. Yeah, by the way. What's that? It's a beautiful cat. You like that hat, eh? Love it. Love the logo. I've never had a client give me a hat before, so it's good. You know, close a deal, wear a hat, do a video. It works. Sounds great. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for hopping on. I appreciate you doing this on short notice. We'll do a bunch more of these. If anyone, you like this video, please share it. You'd like to be on a video. You have some questions you'd like answered. Please shoot me a comment. Uh, send me a direct message. We're going to be shooting these hopefully every day getting some great content out while we are quarantined in the office. So this is Kevin Thatcher with Independence Title Company with Title Tuesday's Town Hall, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.